the medical world has expanded significantly in recent years. It's no longer a world exclusive to prescription medications and invasive surgical procedures. Even the most traditional doctors today are beginning to recognize the benefits of certain alternative approaches to improving health. Invasive surgery has played an important role in modern medicine for the past several decades. Though invasive procedures often lead to a full recovery and a positive outcome, the process also has its challenges. Well, medicine wouldn't be where it is today if it wasn't for traditional invasive surgery. However, invasive surgeries do involve incisions into the body and patients will require anesthesia for the procedure. This requires a hospital stay and often lengthy recovery times followed by a risk of infection. The pursuit of less invasive and non-invasive surgical procedures has led to several breakthroughs in recent years. One of the newest and most promising non-invasive techniques was introduced by an Israeli-based company called Incitec. The system, called X-Ablate, combines high-intensity focused ultrasound energy with magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. The focused ultrasound treats targeted tumors while sparing surrounding healthy tissue using no radiation and no incisions. The MRI provides images to guide the treatment. The idea of using focused ultrasound to treat areas inside the body was first conceived in the early 1950s. It wasn't until the late 90s when InsideTech developed a method of combining MR guidance with focused ultrasound and now we can not only treat inside the body non-invasively but also see what we're treating inside the body. The X-Ablate is currently FDA approved for the treatment of symptomatic uterine fibroids. Well, uterine fibroids are a tremendous health care problem for all American women, but they're disproportionately affecting African American women. According to the U.S. National Institutes of Health, uh, at least 25% of all American women between the age of 30 and 50 are suffering from uterine fibroids, with African American women being three to five times more uh, likely to develop these tumors. Back in October of 2004, the FDA approved this for commercial use. So we actually did our first patient the day after FDA approval in 2004, and it was very exciting. It was the first time a completely non-invasive surgical procedure had been done for uterine fibroids. During the procedure, the patient lies on a treatment table which is connected to the MRI. The MRI takes images of the targeted anatomy and surrounding areas. The ultrasound beam is directed into a focal spot inside the fibroid. The physician is able to prevent focused ultrasound energy from going through the non-treatment tissue with astounding accuracy. The studies have shown that the ultrasound beam can be directed into a spot with 0.1 millimeters of precision. So that ensures that I'm treating only the fibroid and the surrounding normal uterine tissue is intact. The treatment effects are limited only at the focal point. If I have a magnifying glass and I'm trying to heat a piece of paper, if I put my hand right up next to the magnifying glass, I'm not going to feel any heating. If I put my hand at the focal point of the magnifying glass, I'm going to feel intense heat. And that's exactly how the focus ultrasound transducer works. All the ultrasound energy is concentrated to a very small spot about the size of a jelly bean inside the fibroid of the tumor. Any tissue outside of that focal point is unharmed. In fact, if you move five millimeters outside the focal point, you're back at baseline temperatures. And so the beauty of this is that it's a very, very precise treatment. After the procedure, I was in amazement that we could induce such significant changes inside the body in an outpatient procedure with no cutting of the skin. This allows women to have a treatment that is non-invasive, allows them to go back to work the next day without any incision, without any anesthesia. I think the tremendous benefit of this procedure as opposed to any other procedure that's uh, been available to women is that it's an image-guided procedure. So during the procedure, I have the confidence to know that we are hitting the tissue that we want to because we see with such clarity the anatomy on MRI, and MRI is the best way we have at looking at anatomy. In addition, the MRI machine can act like a thermometer, so we can monitor temperature changes, and that's critical to this procedure, because if we know we can reach at least 60 degrees Celsius, which is about 160 degrees Fahrenheit, we know all the tissue in that region will die. In the past, the most common patient treatments for fibroids included major invasive procedures with a two to eight week recovery. Doctors say one of the biggest benefits of MR guided focused ultrasound is the recovery time. The recuperation period is less than one day. 
In fact, the women go into the recovery room after the procedure for usually 30 minutes. They need to make sure that they can drink and hold down fluids and urinate. Then they're discharged and the evening following the procedure, they're not allowed to drive because they've received some medicine during the procedure to allow them to be comfortable. But other than that, there's no limitation on the activity. They can go out for dinner, they can go salsa dancing, they can lift their children, they can go to work the next day, and there is no limitation on the activity after the procedure. And I talked to my gynecologist, and she was also recommending like a hysterectomy. So I kind of weighed the two. I thought I would at least try this procedure. I can always get a hysterectomy later. Um, I did do the procedure, and there was really basically very little discomfort, a little cramping. Um, otherwise, um, that was it. The procedure has shown considerable success in treating uterine fibroids in the U.S. and around the world. Experts say this award-winning technology has the potential to be used for many other indications beyond fibroids. The great thing about focused ultrasound surgery is that it has tremendous potential for being used in other applications as well. Basically, anything that you can see with diagnostic ultrasound has the potential of being treated with therapeutic ultrasound guided with MRI. Because focus ultrasound really does um, focus on treating the uterine fibroid itself and leaving the uterine wall intact, that's one of the clear benefits of the technology. Um, this has allowed the FDA to approve a uh, randomized clinical trial to uh, treat uh, infertile women uh, comparing exablate to myomectomy. And so hopefully this trial will allow us to be able to, in the future, offer um, focused ultrasound as um, an accepted uh, treatment modality for these infertile women. I think the future applications of this technology are widespread. First of all, I think that it will be applicable to treating brain tumors. I think a tremendous application is in the field of women's health and breast cancer. I think in Japan they've treated many cases and they have done certain studies comparing this treatment to conventional surgery, but if we can obviate the need for lumpectomy or mastectomy in women and kill the breast tumor with this technology, it will have so many far-reaching emotional and physical ramifications on breast cancer patients. In today's healthcare, the greatest challenges include improving the cost effectiveness and recovery time of patient treatment. New breakthroughs are now allowing doctors to use less invasive and even non-invasive technology, dramatically improving outcomes for many patients. Invasive surgical procedures are costly for patients and the healthcare industry and often result in scarring, long and difficult recovery time, and expensive insurance copayments. Exablate is the first and only FDA-approved incisionless surgical system to combine magnetic resonance imaging with focused ultrasound. Instead of using a scalpel, the physician uses high-intensity ultrasound energy to selectively target tumor tissue, while sparing the surrounding healthy tissue. This award-winning technology is already helping treat thousands of uterine fibroid patients using no radiation, no anesthesia, no incisions, and no scarring. Some great people and ideas. We're glad you can join us here on the Profile Series. Be sure to join us again next time for more stories of success. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. For more information, Call 1-866-X-UPLATE or visit us online at insightech.com.